So I don't think that I have to uh, present again about uh, Canada uh, because you already know there's so many opportunities for you uh, in terms of the high education quality, in terms of the competitive courses, as well as there are so many chances for you to get a PGWP when you start in Canada. So Kasei is located in Kogari, which is the biggest city in Alberta provinces. And Alberta province is located in the western part of Canada. And uh, of course, uh, there are so many opportunities for you to work during your study here. As well, after graduations, you can find a lot of uh, immigration pathway to uh, stay permanently here in, in Canada and especially in Alberta. Also, the cost of living in Alberta is pretty low because you don't have to pay for provincial sales taxes. Also, the government has a free universal health care for its known students and also um, it's could be a chance for you to visit many famous places like National Park, like Banff or Rocky Mountains. And also, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, you can save a lot of money uh, when you start in Alberta because uh, you only have to pay for the uh, federal taxes. So it uh, could uh, save you a lot of money when you buy goods or services here, uh, uh, when you compare with other provinces. And of course, at the same time, you can earn money uh, because um, the minimum wage when you work here in Alberta provinces is pretty high. So you could uh, get paid like 15 Canadian dollars per hour. Uh, for example, if you work with part-time jobs, so you can earn a lot of money and save a lot of money at the same time. So Kogari is, is the biggest city in, in Alberta provinces and it's one of the top five most livable cities in the world. Uh, we have over 1.5 million people living in Kogari right now. And Kogari is an urban city, and uh, which is the second highest number of corporate head office in Canada. Uh, they have so many uh, uh, diverse economy employments. And then also it's easy for you to uh, commute and get around cities with a good system of uh, public transportation like buses, train, road, or airport. And the um, medium uh, population of Kogari is, is around 36, so it's pretty young. And Kogari is also one of the cleanest and kind of wealthiest uh, Canada cities. And of course, there are so many um, opportunities for you to uh, do and enjoy the life here uh, inside the, the city downtown, as well as there are so many outdoor activities for you to go around and to experience about festive event as well. And for SAIT, we were started in 1916, one of the very first public fund institute of technologies in Canada. We currently have more than 16,000 full-time students and we try to offer a career oriented program, which means that you will learn by doing and be ready uh, for the workforce after graduations. And our employment rate is currently 91%. Here are some pictures from SAID. And we are located quite uh, close to the downtown of Kogari, which takes you only 10 minutes uh, traveling by train to the downtown and get around. And we currently have uh, nearly 3,000 international students from different nationalities. We uh, offer like over 50 programs for international students. And our tuition fee is uh, normally around 18,000 to 22,000 Canadian dollars per year. Uh, so um, we try to offer a lot of support for students in terms of academic, cultural, our, our immigration advising as well as Korea Center and uh, support related to PGWP. And of course, we invest a lot into our clinics, or into our facilities to provide good lab learnings, apply research as well as co-op for students. So you will learn by doing, you work with the industry, you uh, learn from your instructor, which is a professional in the field that they teach. Uh, we have a very small classes, which normally 20 students per class. 
and we cooperate with over 11,000 industry partners to provide uh, uh, practical programs and provide work placement for our students. Uh, of course, we try to offer a variety of, uh, of programs for interna international students. So we have bachelor degree, which is four years. We have diploma, which is two years program as well. And we have certificate. And after graduations from say, if you want to study in a higher level, uh, you can transfer to uh, many university in Canada as well, uh, also outside Canada. And first for school of business, we have notable programs like uh, Bachelor of Business Administrations, or we have a diploma in business administrations that we have uh, six major about supply chains, marketing, management, um, accounting, financial service, and HR. So for this program, you have chances to do work placement. You can do consulting projects uh, for companies like Deloitte, uh, Sunlight, or Sunco Energies. And uh, of course, uh, we have a very good network, over 14,000 alumni currently. Uh, for the School of Hospitality and Tourism, uh, we have good programs about Bachelor of Hospitality and Tourism. We have diploma about bark making and pastry art, culinary art as well. And in terms of the diploma of hospitality and tourism, we have six majors about event, travel, entrepreneurship, restaurant, hotel, beverage. Uh, we have student run organizations uh, like restaurant or, 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 or travel consulting companies inside the school for you to do practicums before you can move forward with uh, outside and, and local company as well. And uh, for School of Energies, we have bachelor about uh, petroleum engineering. We have diploma about chemical engineering, um, electrical, electronic as well. And you can do uh, projects, do uh, apply research with good companies like BP, or. Um, uh, shared as well or other R&D projects in Canada. Uh, for School of Constructions, we have Bachelor of Science Construction Project Management. We have Civil Engineering, Architectures. So those programs, you can uh, work with uh, a lot of good companies like MicroStation, DuPont, 3M Canada. Um, for Health, we have Opticians, Health Information Management and Dental Assisting that we have clinics and we have uh, a lot of hospital and and um, how to say testing center, lab services here in Kugari for you to do uh, uh, practicum. And for the uh, School of Information and Communication Technologies, we have IT programs, which we have major about computer system, network, software, telecommunications. We have information system security as well. And intermedia, we try to strengthen about new media production and design, journalism, theme, radio and graphic communications and print technologies. So uh, for programs like IT programs, you can work into projects for Amazon Web Service, Microsoft Oracle, but in terms of communication and media, you can work with Omni, CBC, or Kulari Horat. Those are very notable. Uh, media and communication company here in Kugari, Alberta. For transportation, we focus about automotive uh, and, and, and uh, aircraft uh, maintenance. So you can uh, work with a lot of things like General Motor, Ford, uh, WestJet, or um, uh, other uh, companies related to transportation. We have our own garage, automobile, uh, for school of manufacturing, we have mechanical and welding technicians for you to work on with. So for Filipino students, I have to say that we can totally waive the IELTS requirement if you can demonstrate that um, the medium of instruction is in English in your documents. We can totally waive for the language proficiency. Anyway, we normally uh, for international students, we will need IL 6.0 with no band below six to uh, study a state. And we still have foundation program related to English to uh, text on, and we have different level as well. But anyway, uh, I have seen that a lot of Filipino students doesn't have to take IELTS because the, their high school uh, 
uh, study or their post-secondary study uh, has medium of instruction is in English already. So we can wait for that requirement. Uh, we have also good facility related to uh, like do fitness, health center, uh, stadium, and uh, other facility for you to do physical activities. Uh, we have student club uh, so you can do other volunteers uh, activities for the government, uh, for the societies. And of course, uh, once again, we have career center uh, in which is we try to provide a lot of uh, support related to mock interviews, resume, uh, CV assistant. You can also be invited to career fair industry night uh, to uh, uh, get connected and meet with potential partners or employers to find internship or after graduation job. And of course, we have restaurant inside our school that you can live conveniently. And we have different type of uh, rooms that you can uh, study alone, or you can share into four bedrooms or two bedrooms as well. And we try to offer scholarship uh, yearly. Uh, we have entrance scholarship uh, and the value could be 1,000, 2,000 or 5,000. And you should uh, try to apply uh, as soon as you got a confirmed offers from SAIT uh, and try to do it as soon as possible. And here are some examples about our alumni from Philippines got an award for scholarship as well. Uh, try to uh, apply as soon as possible from site.ca because uh, we tr we offer early conditional acceptance and we have three main impacts, which is September, January, and May. So a lot of programs will be filled in as soon as possible. So uh, try to do it and uh, make a quick applications. Our application fee is 150 with tuition deposit is 1750 to get an LRA and apply for your visa. And once again, our IELTS is 6.0, but we can waive that requirement for Filipino students if you can demonstrate uh, the medium of instruction is in English. So that's all for my presentation. Thank you.